Okay. This is a shocker. For me, apparently. I made a video on North Korea as a joke. I mean... But I recently found out that they're deciding on whether there should on whether there should be a lift on the ban to America to United States Americans going to to North Korea or or not. I have a few things to say about this. Some may argue, some of these reasons may be argued that they, that it really doesn't have a good meaning to it. But I'm going to argue the do ban, the do lift the bans and don't lift the ban reasons. Okay, let's start with the do's. Alright, first, first reason. I think if you haven't tried learning anything new, you can learn a lot by going to places. Alright. Two, I've I've always wanted to see places that I haven't seen before. Alright. Three, I'm sure there are some nice people in North Korea, but I still consider it a 50-50 chance I'd go there. Four, I guess they have good food there. I don't know what it is. Never been there. And the last reason, there's going to be more don'ts in this. But num the fifth reason is that maybe it wouldn't hurt to try something new for once and become friends with North Korea. Okay, so that's the do's out of the way. Now let's get to the don'ts, shall we? Okay, first reason why I think they shouldn't lift the ban, they shouldn't lift the ban is because North Korea is a very strict and complicated country. They run a dictatorship and... I don't... think... They should be too strict on people go on on the people that are there. I mean, I'm not against I'm not against politics or anything. I mean, politics are what built America in the first place. Or their government. Anyway, second I mean, even if North Korea had changed their ways, there's still the COVID-19 virus. There's still talk of the COVID-19 virus going around. So I wouldn't visit there now, but maybe if, if I had enough money to afford a plane ticket there, to there, then if it was even possible for tourism there, then I guess I'd go there, but they have so many limits and restrictions, like I said earlier. Three, their, di their dictator, the new dictator, because Kim Jong-un faked his death. We you should all know someone like that would fake their death. But anyways, the new dictator there isn't any better than the the 
than the previous dictator. <sighs> Number four. We haven't gotten into any good, any full good relationships yet. So I don't know if they still hate us or if they want us to come. Number five, it doesn't, it probably doesn't have much to offer. I mean, I want to have fun and, and, and country, in other countries. But I could be wrong on that part. Number five, too many restrictions and too many restrictions. I've heard horrible things about the restrictions. This goes back to what I said about to a reason, a don't reason I said earlier. And number six, and I know I stutter a lot. Anyways, another reason. Why I think you shouldn't go is because just because it's a it's a dangerous country. It's an evil, dangerous country. But I'm not here to disrespect the leader of North Korea. I've been fascinated by North Korean history. So that's a whole vi that's a whole entire video. That's a whole that's another whole entire video on itself. Probably one I won't make cuz it's probably too boring anyways. But yeah, there's my do's and don'ts on Left the Band. I would... I would advise you not go to countries like North Korea. But if you want to, you can try. As long as it's okay with your government. But... For those who don't, you're probably best staying in your home country or going to a country that does allow people from your country to go there. So yeah, thanks so much for watching.